tomorrow is a word often used to describe the future. It's a word that gives us hope that one day something better will come. At a time in our global history where the landscape of energy is uncertain, tomorrow is a word too often spoken to put off the ideas needed for change today. For BioDeco Sustainable Biorefineries, tomorrow means something much more because the world of clean, economically viable, renewable energy isn't just a dream for tomorrow, it's happening now. BioDeco was born from the idea that clean, renewable energy could be created and maintained securely, free of the global turbulence that surrounds petroleum-based fuels. Founder and president of BioDeco, Russ Thiel, has been on the front lines of the biodiesel movement since the beginning in 1992, when the National Biodiesel Board set out to make alternative fuel production a priority. Pioneering a totally new approach to the way biodiesel is made led to advancements in other technologies, including distributed, renewable cogeneration from digesters, gasification, solar, and wind. Top BioDeco scientists have now developed a new product through this research called GBX, an economically viable process enhancement that accelerates and increases biogas production by up to five times. Turbo boosting anaerobic digestion to produce biogas in places like California's vast agricultural landscape. Rudolf Diesel introduced his revolutionary engine at the 1900 World's Fair in Paris, an engine first designed to run on peanut oil with the dream that 20th century farmers would grow the fuel needed to run this amazing new power source. But petroleum diesel would prevent part of this revolutionary vision from becoming realized. Until now. In 2000, BioDeco began production of biodiesel at their 3 million gallon per year facility in Las Vegas, Nevada, using cooking oil waste from the casinos and restaurants. This success led to the construction of similar facilities in Colorado, Texas, Australia, and now California. In 2015, BioDeco Westside opened its state-of-the-art 20 million gallon per year plant in the heart of California's vast, ag-strong San Joaquin Valley. The development of the facility was supported in part by grants from the California Energy Commission, as well as in collaboration with the United States Navy and major academic institutions. With California home to some of the most ambitious clean air and climate goals, California Energy Commissioner Jenea Scott noted that BioDeco Westside is an example of the technological and entrepreneurial leadership that is needed to bring advanced low-carbon biofuels to the region's transportation fuels market. Not only is this facility creating local jobs and supplying renewable fuels to the ag industry's truck fleets by using recyclable feedstocks, BioDeco is running the plant with cogeneration technology to power the process. One of the largest users of diesel fuel in the world is the United States Navy. And now, a cooperative agreement between BioDeco and the Navy is setting a new course for energy self-sufficiency and security with a BioDeco facility generating biodiesel fuel and bioenergy at Naval Base Ventura County. With the Navy setting a goal to reduce petroleum consumption by 50% by 2020, Assistant Secretary of the Navy Dennis McGinn noted that BioDeco's work is a potential game changer for implementation throughout the Navy and Marine Corps. A long-term strategy for distributed, renewable fuel and power generation between BioDeco and the U.S. Navy is moving full speed ahead. Cleaning our air, providing energy security, creating jobs, driving economic development, and presenting economic opportunities for investors who want to do well by doing good. BioDeco is tomorrow's future for renewable energy today.